Hey everybody, hanging out in game room with Brian Curtis and Scott Zolak, and we don't have to wait for the game between Ohio State and Michigan anymore. Juice Williams, four touchdown passes, Illinois does the job, knocks off the Buckeyes. Yeah, and if you look at it, Todd Beckman, I mean, he's been outstanding week to week, and we've been complimenting him and saying, well, how long could he keep up this pace? You know, throwing the touchdowns to Rubisky, not throwing the picks. Well, he has the three interceptions today, comes back to earth a little bit, and you got to give Ron Zook credit for recruiting these kids to get him to go to the University of Illinois. And not only that, put the good team together, and you get Juice Williams, four touchdowns. I mean, it's a big and, win for the Zook man. And the amazing thing coming into this game, I was completely wrong on this. I thought that Juice Williams was going to be the one to make poor decisions. Yes. Ron Zook has struggled with Juice Williams. He's a tremendous talent, but made poor decisions all season long at key points of the game and throwing the ball away or taking a sack when he shouldn't have, et cetera, et cetera. He played like the senior, and Todd Beckman did not play well at all throwing those interceptions against a pretty good Illinois defense. I think there were little signs through the year, Adam. I mean, Illinois is a good football team, despite their losses, three losses on the season. Yeah, they did it. They looked impressive at home against Penn State earlier this year. What about the BCS implications now of Ohio State losing? Uh, is, it, is LSU against Oregon a, a sure thing, or are there other teams? I don't think it's a sure thing. And if you look at it, I'm not the guy that's totally sold on this Oregon team. I mean, Dennis Dixon's been nice and all. And all. He's, he's, he's kind of backed in to the Heisman talk because I think all the other quarterbacks, the guys like Brian Brom and, and Pat White and all that crew, they played themselves out of it, and then they're trying to get back into it. Dixon's just been doing the same thing. Some of the product of the system, I don't know how Oregon would really fare in the SEC. If they had to play LSU schedule, I think Oregon would have three losses on the year I'll right tell now. you this loss. LSU by far the number one I mean, team. clearly this, this helps LSU, but the fact of the matter is LSU, if they run the table, is probably playing for the national title anyway. I think this really helps Kansas. If Kansas ends up beating Oklahoma State and Kansas ends up running the table, beating Missouri, beating probably Oklahoma in the Big 12 championship game, I think there's going to be a lot of calling for an undefeated Kansas team to be the one playing LSU in the title game. They'll get the Boise State love from last year. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, kicks up Kansas is in a BCS <laughs> conference. And if they run the table, they do deserve a spot well, in the to. national championship game. We'll see. I'm Adam Zucker. He's Scott Zolak. And we always make sure Brian Curtis has his own chair. He's over there. My chair.